And did you have a good Halloween? Yes, of course. Who yes. doesn't love Halloween? I, yeah. I, some people don't really care about it as much. Do you dress? Do you do the whole trick or treating thing? Of course. Oh yeah. I mean, when you have little kids, Halloween is the day. I mean, it's Christmas and Halloween, and I don't know which comes first. But <laughs> Halloween well, is the that comes thing. first. Christmas is in December. Oh, so. thank you. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for clearing You're that welcome. up. You're mm -hmm. welcome. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yes, yeah, so Halloween is is definitely it's, it's a big deal at our house. Do you do the whole house thing? Do you decorate your house? Oh, our house is just obnoxious. Yeah, starting from beginning of October through Easter, we live in like a Hallmark card. Really? House. <laughs> yeah, because it's just after school, you're sitting around and you feel like, well, let's do some spider webs or let's make ghosts or let's you know we've made bats that hang from the ceiling. It's wow. You really sure. are crafty. Sure. Yeah, That's well, what you, you do know, when you're I just. I can cut out a bat. Well, <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I got it. <laughs> do you make their own costumes? Sometimes. Right now, um, for my daughter's lovely preschool. Um, How old is she? She is almost five. Mm -hmm. And they do a theme. So they do their own costumes at this school. And this year, it's under the sea. And she, you know, I was like, oh, this is so great. You could be a jellyfish, like an umbrella with stuff hanging down. You have to make your own. You're not allowed to cheat. You have to make your own. And she said, I'll be a seahorse. <laughs> seahorse? Do you know how hard it is to make a seahorse? Well, I, and how hard to walk it as a seahorse. Right, because the tail. Yeah. So um, I, I have to admit, I did use a lot of glue and uh, staples. And it is made. It's, um, it's beautiful. Well, is that cheating to use glue and staples? I mean, how else would you make it? Are you supposed to sew it? I think you're supposed to sew it or weave it or weave it. <laughs> you know, it seems like crochet it, like, but whatever. I like use who staples. has a loom in their house that they're <laughs> weaving a seahorse? <laughs> they probably have one at this preschool, but wow. Yes. And, and then what, what were the other? You have two other children, right? Yeah. So um, gosh, we had a mummy, a scary mummy. We had a horse because my little dude is obsessed with horses. And we had, um, uh, the middle one was Madeline at night. Uh huh. So they didn't go in a theme this year. No. They, we decided to break apart any family themes. And what were you? I was a <laughs> mom. <laughs> OK. <laughs> Subject of debate. Your kids, you know, I don't know about your kids. My kids want us to dress up big time. I sure mean, I remember when my first was two and a half, and she looked at me, and somebody said, "What are you going to be for Halloween?" And she was reading this little book. It was um, Big Dog, Little Dog, and she said, "I'm going to be Ted, who's the little dog." And I was like eight months pregnant, and she looked at me, and she said, "And she's going to be Fred." <laughs> so I knew I had to take the hit, and I got the full dog costume, and I got a turtleneck that said Fred, and I did the whole. It was. It was agonizing, but I did it. And then, um, you know, another year, they were going to be Little Mermaid people. And Ben came home from work, and the costume department had put together King Triton for him because he just liked the idea of being the king of the sea, you know. <laughs> so he really went with that for a while. King of the sea. And then um, <laughs> last year, I, I said, you know, let's skip dressing up. You and I, we're grown ups. We don't have to do it. And they just talked, they can talk him into anything. So they started on him. We were Wizard of Oz. And uh, this is the deal. I was Glinda. And then we had Dorothy and the Scarecrow. And oh, I'm forgetting a kid. Hang on, I can't forget a child. <laughs> The lion, thank you. And the lion, and then Ben was the. Um, Are my tindin. producers helping you remember a child? <laughs> <laughs> Look, whatever it takes. Okay. I really, I mean, right. if they so all get home lion. from school, I feel like what that's a you? good day. What were you? You were Dorothy? I was Glinda. The you good were Glinda. Witch. And, then, and Ben was who? The Tin Man. So we go to another neighborhood to, uh, to, to trick or treat. And I am wearing a full on ball gown. It was this pink, fluffy, it was itchy, it was uncomfortable. There is not another grown up in sight dressed up except for Ben Affleck and me. <laughs> and, and he is in a full on Tin Man. And he sees all the other people there and realizes we're the only ones dressed up. And he just took his Tin Man off and walked around and left me, his wingman, his partner in life, hanging as Glinda. So now I'm solo. I'm just like in, in agony. So I know he wouldn't want you guys to miss out on him as Tin Man. So I brought you a little something. Do you have a picture of him as Tin Man? <laughs> You're welcome, honey. Uh, he's not going to be happy about that. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm surprised he didn't already tweet it. Yeah. yeah. 